what's going on man so uh we're down here at the other property um we're just gonna try and get this car moved try and get it up which we've done already the old the old uh, uh my first car right if you've seen that video we got it up we're trying to get the wheels off they're all flat tires are rotted out but uh i just thought i'd get this on a uh, camera because kind of cool right um so uh Let's check it out but what's what's really amazing i got the first lug nut off and um the um stud is still like in perfect shape this is this is crazy right check this out i've been trying to sell this car i had it listed for three thousand it's a good roller it would make somebody actually a good street and strip car if you can do a four door it is solid under there i just checked it all out but uh anyways check this out we just pulled off the first lug. That thing is Princeton, man. <laughs> Crazy. But uh, anyways, we're going to pull off the rest of these lugs. And uh, I don't have any of my cameras here because this really wasn't a planned uh, video. But uh, I just thought it's kind of some cool stuff. I thought I'd get it captured. But take a look under here. So... It's still pretty damn solid for a car it's sat. It's probably sat out 10 years, but uh, sometimes sitting out really doesn't do, do much harm to a car. It's when they're sitting in weeds, damp, moisture, wetness, things like that. But uh, anyways, let's get this wheel off and I gotta get them all four off, try and find tires for them so I can get them back on and I can get the car moved up to, uh, in this other area here i want to get it out of the back one of the problems i one of the problems i had getting these off uh, there's no weight on it so when you want to loosen the lug of course the wheel turns I, and, and the, the other funny thing i cannot believe that none of these wheels have set up they make some noise listen getting their broke loose it doesn't look too pretty on camera All right, so we were able to get them all off. Get wheel pulled off. And uh, let's see what's the end thing is just rotted. Surely the wheels probably are no good. Whew. A lot of spiders there. But uh, look at these studs, not in bad shape. I'm gonna hit them some WD-40. Of course, this is gonna need brakes. These headers are for 289, 63 Ford. I had them nickel plated at a factory where my brother worked. But uh, back in 1976, I bought these at a local speed shop and they were on the shelf. Unbelievable, because it's not a common motor you put headers on in a big car like this. Usually it's the 390s or 427s, but uh, no, they had a set on the shelf and uh, you put them on. We got a little, little bit of a high left cam in this thing and it runs all right. It's a small block. I've been toying with the idea of uh, putting something in it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't have room for it. I need to get garage space. But it would be a fun street and strip car. It would be a great car for somebody. It used to be a car like this at the track. It's called the, I think it was called Moby Dick or something like that. Big old monster. I ran down high 10s. And had a stout built 460 in it. All right, I'm gonna get the rest of some wheels off and then uh, we're gonna see if we can uh, find some replacements for it. All right, we got them all off. You hear me huffing and puffing? That was a little bit of a job. Get these sprayed down, I'm gonna spray this down. Just keep it from rusting anymore. Oil's kind of an inhibitor, right? I got a couple wheels at home. 
a 15 inch. I actually have four uh, torque thrust wheels and tires from the uh, from the early 70s, maybe even late 60s. They're in my basement. Take a look at those. Um, where this car has failed is a rear trunk, but the frame rails are all solid. Um, again, that would have to be all replaced, but look at, look at down the side of this thing. It's straight. The, the drip rails have been breached, but uh, this could be a like I said, not a bad car for someone. Wouldn't take much. Get the brakes, the engine training in it, of course, rear gears. Um, you'd have a rolling car to go for the track. Just look from this side. Those frame rails are huge on these old Fords. They're solid. That's why they weigh so much, too. Alright, guys. Let's see what we can do with this thing. Just get some tires on it and move it. We're in Sam's. There's no 14 inch tires almost non-existent a lot of 16s a few 15s i was just stopping in to see what's here but uh, i think we're shit out of luck there try and find a uh, even 15s are here few 15 70 i don't have anything 15 other than those wheels in the back Maybe two 14s. These are 15s. They're pretty small for that car. 17s. We're going to run over to ESC. Let's see if we can find some trailer tires. That uh, These are just for storage for sitting. We're not going to drive on them, right? See what we can find in there. Not a chance. Not even close. So this is going to turn into a treasure hunt. I was even thinking too, if you have some older tires, regardless of what they're going, how they're going to be used, you won't find anybody to mount them up because they're going to be liable for them. They've gotten really, really strict uh, recommendations after five years, change your tire. So, um, yeah, I don't know how this is going to turn out, right? Uh, I have a couple of people to call, see if they have possibly some old wheels tires I could use or or buy I don't know we're gonna have to keep looking hey guys what's going on so the continuing saga of finding wheels and tires for the 63 Ford uh, that I got sitting on the ground basically it's up on jack stands as you saw the video we finally found some tires um, we bought the trailer wheels for the car my infamous front runners that weigh four pounds lighter than a drag star wheel. <laughs> and uh, anyways, found four tires, 50 bucks from a buddy who happened to have them. So I've got a great deal on there. I found a shop that uh, mounted them and I didn't record any of this, so I apologize. They initially did not want to do it because the tires were already over 10 years old. So there's a, there's a time stamp on the tires, right? And uh, after I showed them pictures and said, hey, look, this is nothing more than move this car. It's for storage. So they mounted them. Got a great deal. $8 for the pair. Um, they're not balanced. They're mounted. But that's fine. I don't care. I'm not driving the car. I'm just moving the car. And this, this, this car is going to set for a while before we figure out what we're going to do with it. But let's take a look at what we got. 
So I got two 225 75-15s. And then the front ones are two 75, uh, excuse me, two 15, 75, 15. They're mounted up. You see how nice they look on that wheel? You're gonna be my front runners. <laughs> Eventually they may be. Great deal. So what we got going on, we have these Mopar, these are actually a Mopar wheel I had. I ran them on my Galaxy back in the day, in the 90s actually. Um, they were used for an m &H street and uh, strip tire. I had tubes, I had them drilled out. I did it actually, I screwed the, uh, this old school. I screwed the screws into the tire to keep the, of course, the tire from rotating or spinning on the wheel. So that's an old school trick. What we're gonna do, the goop. we have the goop. Some amazing goop. And uh, we're gonna fill them holes and then we're gonna take them and get mounted tomorrow in the same place, eight bucks. I'll have a full set of wheels go on this car. And I'm super, super excited and ecstatic about that. I, I kid you not. When I started this channel, um, I did say I was gonna do some things different. Well. Here you go. This is something just a little different, a little, a little off the beaten path. Um, but you got to do what you got to do to, you know, make things work. And for now, um, just knowing that I can get this car back on some wheels, move it up to higher ground. And uh, it just gives me some comfort because it's still a good piece. And um, I, uh, I got some, some exciting news. I don't know if I'm going to go down that road. Um, Quickly, I'm just going to say the 63 Ford Galaxy has been one of my all-time favorite cars next to the Mustang. And that's what I had before, actually, a beautiful 63 and a half Galaxy uh, Fastback. This is a four-door. My white car actually was a car my father and I built together, so I have a little sentimental value to it. It's not a valuable piece in perfect shape. It's worth like $10,000, which isn't bad for a four-door. We'll never get there. However, however, my buddy got these tires from, he's an excellent body man, and I just threw this at him. And I don't know if I'm gonna go there, but this may be, if I can, down the road, I'm seriously thinking about is making this four-door into a two-door, so it'll be a two-door Galaxy sedan. So that would get full quarters, which will replace uh, the drip edge in the trunk that's rusted. We would have to get uh, two-door doors, which are available in fiberglass, and then they would have to move the, uh, the striker plate, if you will, that whole post where the car goes. And uh, he actually said he thought about that with his car. He has a lot of Pontiacs. And, um, you know, uh, I might, that's something I might think about and it'd be a real cool build for the channel, but not now. Maybe a year down the road, because I got some other things going on um, that uh, we may break ground this year on it, but we'll hold that off until we know for sure. So let's put some goop in these wheels. All right, we got the tape over the holes. So we got our goop. We're going to goop it in just like it says, goop, goop, goop. Hit it with a hair dryer. Let's see. Fill that hole. Sure does smell like goop, I can tell you that. It looks like it's some sort of a rubber type of a sealer. Let them set overnight. Hey guys, yes, 21 degrees, it's cold. I'm trying to get this uh, puppy moved. I do look funny, don't I? But uh, anyways, e-trailer wheels are on. And uh, we got one the other side to get and then we'll get this thing moved. So this is what's killing this car here, sitting under this pine tree. All that debris gets wet, it sits, causes rust, and that's what rust routed out these rails on this quarter panel, but uh, 
I'll get the other side on you and uh, we're gonna tow it to higher ground and move it out from under this pine tree and then uh, we'll call it a day for this puppy. If I can get it moved, I'll be happy. All right, that's where we're gonna park it, right here. So we have success. Shop called and uh, they got my other wheels and tires mounted. They're not balanced. They got partial air in them, about 20 pounds, and then I'm responsible for airing them up. So that kind of makes them not liable. They're aware of the situation and how we're going to use. Um, however, I want you to know, there is a timestamp on tires and they will not mount after 10 years. Let's see if we can find that timestamp. So we're looking for a four digit code after the dot uh stamp the last two digits are the year and apparently the, the first two are the uh, the weeks in this case you see the dot the four digits to the right o2 so apparently it denotes 39th week and o2 is the year now if your tires are before 2000, it's a 10 digit code. Let's look at this one, because these are two different tires. After the dot, here's your four digits. Uh, it's the 20th week and the year um, 00. So these, these extra tires are actually pretty old. But again, we're not driving on them, we are just sitting on them. So that's a little info on, uh, on tires. So when you're buying tires, make sure you check that timestamp. So guys, hope you liked the video. Uh, like and subscribe. And uh, you guys have a uh, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be putting out a couple more vids soon. Thanks.